Hi, my name is Boyd Ritchie with Buffalo Catch Wrestling here at uh, our home in Victory MMA and Fitness. Hi, guys. And uh, I've got a question from uh, one of my uh, contacts on the internet forum been emailing me and messaging me with a problem about being able to affect the DWL because he's a small guy and he's uh, trying to use this technique on guys that are a lot larger than he is. So we talked about some of the principles. The uh, traditional way of doing this, I, I picked somebody here to start with that's basically approximately my same size. And so if I frame the arm up, I can frame it up like I should. You know, in other words, the elbow is up, the hand's down, I'm framing on my wrist. But as I lift him up, he's just going to come up with me. I'm, I'm not able to really keep him held down with my body, which is one of the principles of catch wrestling, is I always want to maintain pressure and uh, drive him to the mat. So uh, the principle I'm going to show how the uh, DWL works better, I want to demonstrate it on somebody a lot bigger than me, show you this principle works. Eric, how much you weigh, buddy? Uh, 215. 215, okay. So you see, if I try to frame this up on Eric, okay, I can't even reach my own wrist, all right, doing it the traditional method where the arm is at a 90 degree. So what I want to do, as soon as I find myself in this position, I want to maintain my proper side control, my hips are down, my toes are alive, I'm driving into him, he's carrying my weight, and I want to drag this hand into his body as close to his armpit as I can get it. Now as I do that, I want to keep it flat on the mat. I don't want to bring it up and bring it down because he's allowed to grab his clothing or his waistband or something, and now I'm not going to be able to get it without a real fight. So as I trap it here, I want to slide it down and bring it up as close to his body as armpit as possible. I frame up with my hand on my own hand. He's carrying my body weight, and I'm just going to extend my arms out. In other words, I'm basically just extending my arms out this way. That way, as I bring this up, the, this back part of my hand here is the lever that's bringing the shoulder up, okay, as I extend my arms, causing the shoulder lock. Now, people say, well, what happens if you power out? Well, if I hold his hand here, and he wants to straighten his arm out, go ahead, Eric. Go ahead, straighten it out, push right through. There's not much I can do to, to stop him. But when I bring it into his body like this, one-handed, he can't straighten his arm out, okay? Two fingers, he can't straighten his arm out. I've stolen all the strength. Now, all I gotta do, I take my time, frame up, and just extend my arms and affect the DWL. So I hope that helps. Try and let me know.